Hey guys, just doing a quick uh, video on my German SCR210. Um, first off, I guess I'll show you the body. Um, it's a Proline Ford Raptor body. Um, works well, painted myself. Uh, kind of just a quick paint job. Black accents in a couple spots. The uh, louvers and uh, top. Uh, top fins um, also most of the roll cage and uh, back area um, and the fins or whatever whatever you want to call them um, yeah, all in black too the rest just white looked nice when it was new not so new anymore right now it's a uh, drying with some drywall mesh and amazing goop so prevent more cracks in it um, probably looking to get a nicer body soon just uh, this one it did look nice we'll say that um, now on to the truck um, as you can see First off, it does not have a front bumper. Um, my T-Bone Racing, or I had a T-Bone Racing front bumper on here. Not sure where it is right now. Um, it didn't last, or it, it worked well for a while. Um, but it just got a crack in it. Or, I was running it one time and had a fairly big front impact and the bumper just cracked right at the right at the um chassis so I'm gonna uh, get that replaced they have a lifetime warranty so just gotta contact them uh, i've already contacted them about uh the top brace that went on that's what this piece sort of does it was part of the top brace but the top brace and the main bumper just sheared off right at this point um, so going to uh, get that fixed um, as you can see it's kinda dirty the shocks are uh, well front shocks don't work so well anymore seals are gone and o-rings and they're just worn out they're quite old um, so the two front ones have been leaking. There's basically no oil in them. It just springs back instantly. Um, so I'm gonna get those replaced. Not quite sure what I'm gonna go with, but uh, something good. Um, as you can see, there's also a crack in the front arm, front A arm. Had a couple problems with that, but that's uh, recently been because I haven't been running the uh, bumper. Um, just been wanting to run it so much, taking it camping and whatnot. Um, it is running currently Proline calibers on uh, HPI ATTK rims. They're kind of they're the old style, so it's 50/50. Uh, 2.2 and 50-50 uh, 3 inch so kind of rolls over a lot it's really soft on the uh, outside works well other than that though um, not really doing any bashing now or not really doing any racing now doing more bashing uh, looking to do racing next summer kind of missed this summer was a bit busy with camping and whatnot uh, up front I have STRC uh, front C hubs both um, and steering knuckles and I have the uh, optional CVDs in there front and rear actually um, they kind of get worn down every once in a while right at the uh, outside part so I think my rears are about to go Got to get that fixed soon. Um, I do have, I did have problems at the beginning 
when I first got it of the uh, top link up there with the tiny turnbuckle on the outside. It would always snap. So I upgraded to uh, Traxxas link from uh, Stampede or Russell, I think. And then I just made a small aluminum spacer to go space it out so it doesn't move too much. You do have to grind it down near the um, C or the knuckle, but other than that, it works perfect. Um, I do have the aluminum hinge pin up there. I have the STRC uh, steering parts all throughout. I need to change this one back to plastic because I've had a couple problems with my servo. Um, not liking the uh, direct aluminum. There really isn't any spring back with it. Um, for electronics, I have a Airtronics 94358 servo on there. Uh, it's about 200 ounces, um, inch ounces, and I think a point one oh um speed transit speed uh i actually have the cc or castle creations bec on there and i've bumped it up to about 6.2 uh volts so it's going a little bit faster and a little bit stronger um i do have a mama max pro speed control um currently it's not really attached very well but uh works fine still um, I have that running a uh, Novak 4.5 HV um, motor. I think it's about 5,000 kV. Very fast, very torquey. Uh, gets up to speed in an instant. Uh, temps are pretty good usually uh, with it running a 14 tooth pinion with the stock spur. Um, I'm also running a I usually either run a Genzace 4000 milliamp 40C battery, 5000 milliamp, sorry, uh, two cell, or I run my 5000 milliamp 40C Sky Labo. Uh, both work pretty much exactly the same. There's no real difference between them, I find, in this thing. Um, I find the Sky Lipo's punch lasts a bit longer throughout the run um, than the Gen Zace. Gen Zace uh, is more consistent throughout. Um, the punch kind of runs, that really good punch at the beginning kind of runs out quickly with the Gen Zace. I think there's a little bit of weight difference too with the Gen Zace. Uh, I think it's a tiny bit lighter, but you don't really notice that when you run it. Um, and inside the receiver housing, I have a Futaba 4PL receiver, uh, works great, you know, uh, linked up to my Futaba 4PL, um, it's, uh, it's a four channel receiver, I only use two, but works great anyways, fairly light. Um, in the rear, there isn't a whole lot, uh, that's, uh, upgraded. I have stock shocks, which need a rebuild as well, just like the fronts. Uh, I have CVDs in the rear, but as you, as you can see, there's a lot of, uh, the pins are kind of smashed and there's a lot of play in there. So I gotta uh, upgrade or replace those soon. Kind of expensive to replace, but it really sucks to break one while running it. Um, I think that's about it for upgrades. Um, planning to get some uh, nice uh, carbon fiber shock towers front and rear, just to lighten it up and get rid of this two-piece design right there. Uh, going with the jamming ones more than likely. Um, and probably the carbon fiber steering brace 
and then some aluminum um, chassis braces just to uh, get some more strength in there. It's got a little bit of flex, not a whole lot though. Um, and oh, I also have a uh, the STRC um, center differential um, aluminum mount or uh, bulkhead, something like that. Works well, keeps it a little bit stronger, uh, less uh, play in there, higher tolerances than the plastic, of course. Um, the bottom, as you can see, is very, very scratched. Um, it's used to be all black, right? So very scratched. Haven't, uh, I might just clean it up with some sandpaper one day and have it all nice and silver and so you don't have this grayish black at the top, but works well. Um, and then I've, I've got the, uh, stock rear skid plate on right now. I'm looking to get those, uh, DE racing. Uh, skid plates. It's like three for seven dollars or something. So pretty cheap and this one's a uh, quite worn down It's uh, getting quite low um, Other than that, I think that's about it um, And that's about it of what I'm looking to get for upgrades um, Actually, I might switch out the uh, motor to a new Tekken Pro 4 HD, I believe they're called. So it's one of the, um, it's a 550 can four pole that they have coming out. Not sure when that's supposed to come out. Heard it was supposed to be fairly soon, but they changed it. Um, whenever that comes out, I'll probably get that. And if I have to, I'll upgrade to a RX-8, but for right now, the uh, Mamba Max is working well. I got it fairly cheap, so works fine for that, at least for this motor. Um, and other than that, I'm not sure what to upgrade because uh, sadly these are not being, not as popular as they once were. Um, a lot of new trucks have come out and they're just kind of older right now. Still works great though. It's actually fairly light. Here, I'll just weigh it quickly. So, with the scale at zero and no body, no front bumper, comes in at four pounds, 15 ounces, 0.45. So pretty light, at least compared to the SCTE, which is now considered the heavy vehicle of a uh, four wheel drive short course. Um, it works well. The weight actually, it helps it get a lot of traction. Um, the only problem is usually you have uh, the diff in the center differential just spin out quite a bit um, because of uh, all the traction is going to the rear and there's not as much going to the front so you just sit there and spin the front tires a bit um, but other than that it works very well um, parts I've broken on it have been I think I've been through two uh, front A-arms Obviously the bumper had a couple issues with that never had the stock one so can't comment on that But the uh, t-bone racing one I've had a few problems with I broke in the rear bumper once uh, It just broke right at the where the screws are supposed to go right now. I actually oh, I have it broken right there, too um, and I broke in a CVD Just because the pin just got sheared out of it um, I imagine I'm about to break my front center drive line. Um, the pins are like just beyond 
what you would think possible for a pin to get so thin. Um, there's literally nothing on it left of it. So I've got a spare of that, but uh, I imagine that's going to go soon. And the only other thing I've broken is uh, I once, only once, broke a uh, rear A-arm. Uh, doing about 60 miles an hour and down a hill and uh, with a different motor and battery setup and uh, the rear tire hit a rock and just sheared the arm right off. But other than that, I haven't had any problems. Uh, oh, I guess uh, the uh, most common front upper A arm, which had the small turnbuckle, but that's a small thing. Cheap fix. I think it was like $5 to fix it. So definitely wor worthwhile upgrade. Um, the only bad thing about this that I've found so far is you go through tires very quickly. As you can see, this one tire back here is just bald. These ones over here are doing a little bit better just because they were on the uh, rear. I moved them to the front, but uh, because the front diff just spins so much, um, when you initially hit the throttle, it uh, just lifts up the front just a little bit, makes it really light, makes the front spin, and you just grinding tread off your tires really looking to put a a lot thicker differential oil in it just to try and combat some of that i haven't uh been able to buy some differential oil locally so i have to order some in um but other than that yeah it works great um Handling it works very well. I did race this at one point and uh, I did fairly well for my first ever race and like I raced it the second week I got it and I did not bad. Um, it definitely, it's a fairly easy truck to handle um, except for the, uh, the motor combo I have in here is fairly overpowering. Um, tuning it down some with the ESC and using the castle link helps um, but of course that uh, dr learning how to drive as well just helps it's a uh, fairly easy once you get used to it um, it corners very nicely um, it's a little depending if you have like uh, actual proper race tires with the um, not 50 50 rims but just a normal three millimeter all the way along uh rim it corners a lot better it doesn't tend to uh fold over as much 